Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Final Concept. So today I'm going to show you how to create a movie cast in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Alright, for the first part of this tutorial, I'll be using Adobe Photoshop CC 2019. So I'll go ahead and open it up. Now I'm going to be creating two files. The first one is going to be my normal 1080p video size. So I'll just go to film and video and I'll select the 1080p from here and I'll click on create. Now once I have this, I'm just going to create another one, exactly the same thing. So go to file, go to new and have that preset also in there. Now for the previous work, I actually want this color to be black or probably gray. So I'll go with a color like 1A, 1A, 1A and I'll click on OK and just grab the paint bucket tool and just paint in there. Now for the second one, I'm just going to do the same thing. I don't actually need the background though. So I have a list of random names here. So this is going to be the uh, actual names and the second part is going to be the names they were using in the movie or whatever it is that you created. So I'll go ahead and copy this first part. Control C to copy. I'll grab the type to make sure that my font is set to white so that I'll be able to see what I type in there. But before that, um, hold down Control and press R to bring up the rulers and I'll click and drag to the center like so. Alright, so I'll paste this in like this. Highlight everything and make sure that it is set to left align so I can place it somewhere around here. Now I'm just going to be duplicating this because I don't have an entire list of people. So I'll duplicate this about a couple of times. Okay, then I'll click on OK. Now let's zoom out a little bit and grab the crop tool make sure that um, it is set to w h resolution i think it's for width and height and i'll just go ahead and stretch it out like so so this is going to be the actual length of the whole cast and i'll go ahead and copy the second part which is going to be this again right click go to copy and let's zoom in a little bit Press T on my keyboard to bring up the type tool and I'll paste this also in here like so. Now for the second part, Ctrl A to highlight everything, make sure it is left aligned and I'll just click and drag this over here like so. So um, also Ctrl A, Ctrl C, just copy and duplicate a couple of times. Oops, I just deleted the entire thing. Okay, so I'll just copy the whole thing. Um, let me fit this to screen so that I'll be able to see the entire work. So I think somewhere around here should be just fine. Alright, let's fill this to screen and delete the last part. So I don't need these areas. Alright, so this is going to be the whole cast. Um, I need only these two. There's one more text which is supposed to go up here. That is supposed to be the cast. So C A S T. I'll make that a center line and I'll place that at the obviously at the center. Highlight it and probably make this font much bigger. And yeah, I think probably that big is okay. Yeah, I don't need the background like I said previously. So with these three names selected, I'll just grab the move tool and just move this over to my main work, which is supposed to be here. So let's just click and drag this to the beginning of where the whole animation is going to start. So we don't need this anymore. I just no. Let's hold on for now. Alright. So again, um, control out to bring up my rulers. I just want to make sure that this whole thing is aligned properly. So the cast will be here. Then I'll probably bring this somewhere around here and do the exact same thing for this as well. So this is going to be our main cast. Now make sure you go to window and click on timeline. It should be down here and click on create video timeline. So depending on how long you want this cast to move, then you just stretch it out for the duration of the whole um, animation. So in my case, I want this to last for about a whole minute. So I'll click and drag to probably like one minute and just stretch everything else out like so. 
now if you have some specific audio you want to add you can just add it in the audio track right here so i just grab one from ncx and just probably just dump it over here so now that i have this i think i should probably just stretch these out to fill in the whole audio plane all right so basically that is the first part i can go ahead and highlight everything hold down ctrl and press g to group them up so this is going to put them in a nice group and once i'm done i'll just right click and go to merge group all right so if i click on this little arrow right here you see we have position opacity and style now for the position i'm just going to click and drag this to the bottom so the cast is going to start in probably somewhere around here and i'll click on the stop clock for position then for the latter part i'll just move the timeline to the end like so and i'll just click and drag this over to the end so yeah this is a little bit time consuming but you just have to manage now if this is too much for you you can just um, zoom out is going to be a lot faster when you are clicking and dragging now once you are clicking and dragging, make sure that you ha have the shift key held down so that it will move vertically so basically that is it if i move to the beginning and i start playing this this is what we have the cast starts moving in from the bottom to the top right so until the whole sequence is played i don't want to play the music for now because um no well, let me just mute it so this is how the whole thing is going to look from beginning to end. Now for the second part we'll be using Premiere Pro but before that you see this long cast we have in here. Um, just go ahead and uncheck the eyeball for the background whilst the text is still active so you can hardly see that the text is there. Once you do that just go to file, go to save as. And go ahead and save this as a png file so i'll place this at my desktop and call it cast and click on save largest file size All right and let's go ahead and close up photoshop so here we are in adobe premiere pro cc 2019 and i'll go ahead and just create a new document i'm going to leave the name as untitled and everything else click on ok so i'll go to the project window click on this new item icon and click on color mat i'm just going to set mine to 920 by 1080 because um, why not and i'll just select a solid color from here and let's just probably go with blue for this time and just click on ok click on ok for that so i'll click and drag this onto the timeline like so now i have it in the project window so just like photoshop if you have any audio you can just um import it into this work so i'll just sample another one from ncs and i'll just click and drag that onto my timeline like so i'm not going to make this one so super long so probably just one minute and i place it here now i'm going to stretch out the color mat or in this case that is our background then i'll import the cast image from our desktop so i'll just go to desktop and just search it in here so this is it and i'll click on open I'm going to click and drag this onto the timeline also and just stretch it out to fill up the entire duration. So just click on the cast PNG and move the vertical axis down to the bottom. So we want it to move all the way to the bottom. So it should start in somewhere around here. And once I have that, I'll create a position keyframe for that. Once I have that keyframe, created i'll just move to almost the end probably somewhere around here and i'll go ahead and change the y axis to the beginning um so i just click and drag all the way to the beginning uh let's try entering the figure so like thousand is still not enough 520 wow we are moving into the negatives let's try negative 4000 negative 10000 all right so apparently that one will work so i'll just bring it down to just when the animation is leaving the screen so somewhere around here should be just fine and pretty much done with it i'm going to mute the track so that it doesn't interfere with my recording and if i go ahead and play this this is how the animation looks um very smooth and very simple as always the psd template and the Premiere Pro template is going to be linked below, so be sure to check it out. It's actually going to be the first link. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like to watch more of our videos, hit that subscribe button. And as always, don't forget to share with your family and friends. This is Theo from Fino Concepts, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.